What made her so remarkable was how she lived her life, uh, the example she set for others. Uh, she was a person who exemplified faith, hope, perseverance, uh, peace, grace, a competitive spirit, um, truly a champion as a, as a person. Her character uh, was just above and beyond what most people exemplify in a lifetime. And so she was able to have such an impact on others just because of the person that she was and the way she lived her life. And so it's only fitting that a KL Cancer Fund was established that even in her death, her legacy lives on and it's a way of giving to others just as she spent her life giving to others. Coach Al, of course, had a battle with uh, breast cancer over 20 years and her third bout really led her into thinking about doing something for others, which is basically how she spent her life, giving to others. And so she came up with the creation of the KL Cancer Fund, and she really wanted it to be a way that all coaches of women's basketball, uh, players, fans of women's basketball across the country could unite and really raise money to do something for the greater good that would far exceed wins and losses on the court. So. Uh, the Cancer Fund uh, was established and it's been a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, you see it televised across the country, Nike got behind it, ESPN got behind it, and we've raised a lot of money. Uh, we've given three $1 million grants, we've given several $100,000 grants, and so it, it's really a, a great phenomenon uh, going on in women's basketball, and it was all started by one person's battle and the way she persevered, the way she battled, the example that she set for all of us, uh, and the way she lived her life. And so it's great that um, we're able to celebrate her life and to celebrate the life of many other cancer survivors and those who have perhaps lost their battle with cancer, but to continue to, to uh, raise money, uh, to extend Coach Al's legacy, and to really do something great for other people.